I think it's crazy when I have so much to say when the camera is not on. I see my mind be rolling with so much thoughts, so much things I would like to say, discuss with people. But when the camera, when I turn on the camera, it's like I go blank. Right now, I was just thinking about, you know, the world that we live in. This world that we live in and how strange it is. And when I say strange, I'm just being nice. I'm being nice. It's actually E-V-I-L. It's very dark you know so much so like it has got to be hell it has to be the hell that they talk about this place just ha it has to be the hell they talk about like it's so crazy like you, you can decide to you know believe or take what i say or not i mean i'm sharing my opinion my experiences things I've witnessed, things that is going on in this world, and you know, and the more you dig into it, the more darker, you know, you find things, like, you see how dark things are, more strange, and it's just crazy, you know, it's just crazy, I mean, you and I would agree that this world that we are living in is strange i mean you can't deny that you know i mean even if you have not actually taken time to think about it you realize there's something wrong in this world that we live in there's something absolutely wrong and a lot of people just run to religion you know to get that comfort that hope you know and that strength to go through life and uh, with the hope that you know you will be at a better place okay and even with the fear of hell you know that <laughs> don't change your bad ways doesn't change anything about what you really want to do when it comes to something that it's bad or hurting someone or something selfish about you that you know that this character attitude or behavior that i have it's not good and i need to change you know but you it's hard for you to change that it doesn't matter how many times you go to church or pray that thing is still there and you know it you don't have to tell me you know your truth so if the hell thing is not really doing much you know it's not really doing much when you are young it will probably influence you here and there but once you grow you know you put one or two things together whether you acknowledge it or not it doesn't scare you anymore but the heaven thing does the heaven thing helps you to move on in life like move on because you feel it said that you feel it like there's a better place you're going to be you know you know the one something you know one funny thing here you know this science and religion religion and science they are you know two great things that powerful things in this world religion and science these two you know they're actually playing good cop bad cop where science science is lacking religion will quickly come and cover it and where you know religion is lacking science will quickly come and cover it like they're doing the good cop bad cop thing they are both rock bitch. They are all just to, you know, lead us as astray, really. Because what is half truth? If you are telling me everything, tell me everything. What is half truth? If you give me half truth, then don't tell me nothing. Let me find out things on my own then. 
what is you're telling me something you're not telling me everything and there is this hidden secret hidden 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 and what is this what is all this secret all up uh, you know secrecy all about religion is not full if you take the bible it doesn't tell it doesn't explain everything when you go to science science cannot explain everything meanwhile there are beings on this earth that actually knows what is going on there are beings on this earth that do know you know this is not conspiracy theory but someone has to know what's going on it, it only makes sense you understand imagine all of us in this world are clueless and that's not true those there are people in power 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 hi 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 so they should know and i'm not talking about your president i'm not talking about your pastor i'm talking about those that real hold real power they know the truth but they are not sharing that, that with us why you know one thing i know you know when our fathers they sing this song if you do good you do for yourself if you do bad you do for yourself that's that song it it, it means a lot it means a lot you know because one thing i've realized in this world is like you forget about karma forget about karma and karma you know actually works in so many different ways you, you know but when you do good it's like christian saying you pray and it goes to a bank you know you pray it goes to a bank and when you fall and you sin and you sin you know god or the christian god who goes to that bank and then is that prayers that you used to pray and is what will be protecting you and all that so doing good they have this concept like that in religion in christian religion so when you do good you are doing for yourself you are packing it somewhere for yourself and when you do bad too you are packing it somewhere for yourself and if you don't reap the effects in this life you definitely reap it in the next life I believe strongly in reincarnation. Reincarnation is the only thing that makes sense. You know. I mean, the concept of the, you know, Christian concept of, or religious concept of, you know, a God coming and then judging at the end of the, you know, like judgment day and then when you are found guilty, you go to hell. When you are not found guilty, you go to heaven you know and then what you stay in heaven and then you do what and this same god knows the future so what is all this game it sounds so selfish and some self-interest god that is you know playing games to make him or herself happy it don't make any sense you know and one thing that people always ask it's like, it's, uh, it just skipped me. It just skipped me what I wanted to say because I had two thoughts in my mind and one just overtook overtook the other. <laughs> you know, one thing that people, a lot of people who do research actually, you know, ask is like, why is so many things taken out of the Bible? Like, you know the book of Enoch, you know Enoch and other tests. You know, um, I mean the disciples of Jesus Christ, uh, all of them wrote a book. And, you know, Mary Magdalene. Uh, Mary Magdalene was not uh, a disciple, was it? But she also has a book. Why was it not included in the Bible and all that? You know, so there's a secrecy even when it comes to uh, Christianity. You know. And they took the part that would make sense, it, it would fit their agenda 
and they give it to us. Pum. You know, I have some theories about what I think this world is. I mean, no one knows. I mean, you and I. I mean, I wouldn't claim that I have answers, but I know something is wrong somewhere. And I have been on a longest journey to find out, like, what's wrong? What is it that is actually wrong? And I'm telling you, everywhere takes you to a dead end. It takes you to a dead end because that is how it has been designed. You're not supposed to know what is actually going on in this world. You are supposed to concentrate on yourself. How to make yourself better. Be a better human being. Because you see, this other place that is there for us. Hmm? That these religious people have, you know, redesigned it and named it heaven that you go. It's a perfect place and all of us on this earth, we did something terribly bad. That's one of my theories, actually. So we are here to redeem ourselves. Redeem ourselves. You know that you are not perfect, you know. Don't sit there and say, uh, but mine is better than yours. You are a lesbian. Hey. Hey. Sister. Brother. What do you know about the world? You came to meet this thing that you see here. Oh. You can't tell me, say you're 100% sure. This is my truth and I'm leaving it. I will not let you judge me and it's your problem, honestly. So let's just put that aside. It's not even an issue anymore. You know, it's only, you've not grown like, damn, you're here to grow spiritually and you know me personally i know i might be lucky in my next life because i'm trying it's hard for me to do it because because at the point when i realized this at in my life you know it was i had involved myself in so many bad habits that it's so hard for me and I'm not talking about my sexuality. And I'm talk I'm talking about even the food that we eat. Even food that we eat, a lot of the food that we eat have been they are rubbish. They have been genetically modified, and so it affects our body. My mind is willing, but my body is it's hard. It's hard. My mind is willing, but my body is, is hard. I love rice. I love fufu. Meanwhile, I know it is rubbish. I am killing the body that is supposed to take me through this journey. So my mind and my body is at a war. If I'm able to stop all this puppies food. You know there are a lot of food that we eat are not natural. There are no food made by the maker that we are supposed to be eating. They have been the rice that we eat. That's not the original rice we are supposed to eat. Go and do a research. You think cassava? We are supposed to eat cassava? Hmm? Do you know why they grew cassava in Africa? It was for starch. Starch. Let me give you one clue. Food that, that doesn't have seed. Question it. Question it. And find out whether it was genetically modified or it's a natural food or a natural food find out and then move on that's one clue that one guy that can help you if you can't but I remember I went to get all this 
you know proper food i'm supposed to eat and <laughs> then will not even support me to cook those food that do it and it, it, it tastes bad it tastes bad because i am not used to that taste that's not how i was brought up so it, it's a struggle i cannot be eating leaves and vegetables and it is not my style yeah what is leaves and all this one i want to eat fufu i want to eat banku i want to eat uh, rice to eat jollof you are telling me i have to eat black rice that rice is alone if you, and it's so expensive that rice is so expensive i bought some and i still could not cook it for to eat it anyway. <laughs> what a problem it's getting to six, 60 minutes now and i have to end we'll continue this conversation some other time i you know if you want us to talk about this more comment down below let me know and then we will continue this i have some theories about the world what, what i think it is and where i think it would get to i mean this civilization will definitely come to an end it has been like that in the past and so it will be in you know our time too but that doesn't mean the world is coming to an end it's not the world coming to an end it is our world our civilization is gonna come to an end and then new one starts do you actually think the world is two two thousand and what 21 yes do you actually think this world that we are living in is only 2021 years mm -hmm. i mean time is not what we think it is so it will be and i'm talking to deep thinkers i mean a lot of people have not reached this level telling you a lot of people go, get stuck at religion they accept it and they move on with their life and that's it they don't want to move forward again so we will talk about you know several theories that i have about four or five you know and what i personally believe that it is makes sense that actually makes sense you know not making the creator a selfish being self-centered you know i'll leave you guys here and I'll talk to you guys later much love i am d bye